Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid, episode number 15. Uh, last time we left off, I was explaining how we can jump through that hole with the item that we can get from this area, the, the special item. But uh, it's also possible to do um, simply by bomb jumping at the correct moment. Now, since that is a crumpled grapple block, you may not know this, I may not have mentioned it, but they do eventually come back. So you have a very, very limited time frame to get this in, and the sand certainly doesn't help you in this situation. Now, that's one way to do it. Here is an even better way. This trick that I'm about to show you is called the uh, gravity jump. Now, the gravity jump is, I think I've showed you this before, whenever you begin a jump with a gravity suit but pause just after starting it and switch off your gravity suit and it forces you to go higher and higher. And we're going to attempt to do this, and you have to get a good heading off the uh, sand here, which makes it really hard to do, because the sand just makes you normally jump a uh, very, very low amount. So, this can be very difficult, because you have to pause when you good time. Now, I think I might have gotten it. I actually don't believe so. No. Alright, well, this does take quite a bit of, you know, well, mainly luck, actually, is uh, the main factor here. Oh! I have no idea how I just did that, but I'm going with it. Now, the gravity jump, I'm going to have I'm, I'm sticking with this, I'm sorry, but this is the same effect, not the same cause, but it's the same effect. Gravity jump, you pause, you start a jump, and then you switch over, turn that off, and when you pause, keep holding A so your jump continues. Now that really only works in water, because, well, it's a gravity jump. And I will show that to you whenever I'm back over onto the right side. Now. Here's the interesting thing about this place. I always find this interesting because normally rooms completely separate, no other way to bridge across them besides going through the doors. See that door right there? Let's go to our pause screen. Now you see where I am at the bottom with the uh, square that keeps expanding and retracting. Now you can see that we can go up, but at the same time you saw a door there. So this is quite an interesting room. What, what you want to do is you want to just wall jump up the side here. And uh, there's these guys. So. It is a good idea to actually do a pseudo screw attack. Now the screw attack is an awesome weapon later in the game of pretty much ultimate power. <laughs> now which, to do a pseudo screw attack, you charge up and you jump. You continuously wall jump. Well, you can't really wall jump. But what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to continuously jump. And that's only possible with the item that we get from this area. Which makes this easier, but since we're getting this stuff the absolute earliest date possible within sanity, uh, the only way to. Crap, oh well, what was. Pseudo screw attack is whenever you have a certain item that resembles a screw attack, but anyway, whenever you have something charged, you jump and you hit something. And if it is uh, powerful enough, and if your enemy is weak enough, it will indeed kill them. Now, that's one way to get through here. Uh, there's actually two other methods. One is... Well, this is a bridge off of one method. One method is just to go up through that broken grapple block that you saw back there. Now, the other way to do that is with the item from this area, which I'm trying so hard not to spoil. Um, now, there's another method that is coming through this bottom way. Let me get my extra scope on here. As you saw, I was falling through some blocks from up there. To get this on, you can see that there are no fall blocks except for the left side. Because normally, people would want to sit close to a wall and they would indeed fall through. I actually fell through just now, uh, but I was able to jump up quickly enough. If you can do that, definitely go for it. I think I interrupted a script or something in the game because it's not coming back. Like that one did. Anyway, uh, yeah, this one way to get this item here. I mean, yes, we are going for an item. Uh, 
almost any item though, a completely new item. And well, let's just see this easy way. That guy, you can shoot him in his main gears, feet, whatever. But what you want to do is you want to lay a power bomb right off the bat. And that's the reason right there. I was gonna show you the extra scope, but a little too late for that. Anyway, this guy goes across, busting through all the sand, and you can't bust through the sand yourself, it's just impossible. The uh, game does not let you do that. And if it was possible, then you would be able to see it in the extra scope, which you don't. Now, here the only thing you can do is wait. You have to wait for this guy to completely demolish this entire field of sandy blocks and stuff. It's the only thing you can do. You can play around a little bit. I guess this might be a good time to show you some uh, stuff. Now, this is something that I meant to show you way back whenever we got power bombs. Now, turn off all of your beams except for the charge beam and one of the others of your choice. Let's start with the ice beam since it's the first on the list here. Now, whenever you have power bombs selected, you can charge up your beam and the power bomb it will use one power bomb and it will make an effect. Now, let's watch this one is here. You get yourself an ice shield. And it has some really cool effects. Now, uh, I can freeze enemies whenever it touches them and you get four of them. Uh, let's try the wave one, which is actually one of the more useful ones if you know how to use it just right on major bosses like Ridley. We're fighting him. Okay, come on. That's, not, that's obvious. Yeah. This one, it summons four little things that com that continuously go towards you and away from you, and they kind of wave around the screen a little bit, but they mainly stay around you. And each one of those has about the power of one super missile, which is really cool. And um, let's go down. Let's turn that off. Turn the spacer on. Spacer, spacer is a little interesting. Uh, let's show you this here. See how it goes up and around you and everything. Rains down spacer. Which is really cool. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't really work on bosses. But I, it, all of those, since I guess the programmers never thought... It's funny. <laughs> okay, I, sorry, I'm just watching the shell there. Anyway. Uh, I guess since programmers never really thought you would use those much because they're just a cool little extra that not everybody knows about. Um, they didn't really set any specifications, no parameters, no in-depth, no, no detail to them really about how they would be used. But whatever. Uh, getting more ball, come down here, nothing to do. So bomb yourself up a little bit. And get this chosen white, which is... There's a spring... And there is a sphere, and things in spherical shapes are called balls. So, it's a spring under a ball. If I have not made this painfully obvious yet, here it is. Spring ball. Spring ball is something that allows you to jump in ball form. And uh, it acts just as a regular jump, you have the same effects as if you did have the gravity suit on, the gravity suit off, underwater, uh, high jump boots on or off, all the same effects, and hop. And if you hold A, it will automatically jump up every single time it hits, uh, well, the ground. Right now I'm continuously jumping. Really useful right here, because we gotta get out. Now if you were to take this right path here, it would just like show you it and nothing would come up. Really fun item to just kind of play around with and everything. Um, yeah, watch this. Now, if you saw there, I went straight through the body of this guy. Straight through his body. Now, I don't know if I have enough room to even get a quick charge going here, but I'm gonna try and actually speed boost through him. Nope. Went right through his body again. It is one of the weird guys that have that his body is more so uh, just some images instead of actual thing you can do. Anyway, if you shoot him, he explodes. Yeah, you get items of crap. 
Let's leave. And the program is actually kind of messed up here, because this is water, but in, right in the next room, it's mostly air, but the water's on the ground. That's strange. Alright, now here's the second method to, uh, getting the thing. Uh, ball. Spring ball. Uh, what you have to do is you have to freeze this guy exactly in the right position. And, uh... Do it right. You can kneel down. You can. You'll be in a standing position, full standing position, and you can actually kneel down on top of him and jump up and through the blocks. Really cool glitch. I have a video of it that I'll link to. I guess. Uh, and yes, I'll actually link to it this time instead of messing up. Oh crap! Hey, yeah, they're down here. Uh, I'll link to it like right here. Uh, right now, I got like two seconds left. Goodbye and come back for the next episode.